In this demo, we'll compare how Plan Explorer shows missing index information to how Management Studio shows missing index information. I'm running this demo on SQL Server 2012 using the latest build of Plan Explorer. Now what we have here is the missing index plan from the demo kit from SQL Sentry for using Plan Explorer. And one of the things that you'll notice is that for every statement that exists, we get the same missing index information. We can right click on the missing index information and do missing index details. And this will actually open up a DDL statement to create the missing index so that it simplifies being able to actually use the missing index details that are stored within the execution plan. If we go back to our execution plan, one of the things that you might wonder is, okay, well, which of the statements within this plan actually generated that missing index information? And it's impossible to tell within Management Studio unless you actually go to the execution plan XML and then you search out for where in that execution plan XML you have the missing index information. And here we can find that it's actually within our simple statement. And if we start collapsing these up, we'll see that it is statement ID four. So the fourth statement within our overall plan so if we go back to the top, one, two, three, four, this is what actually generated that missing index information. But it's impossible to tell from the graphical display. If we go to Plan Explorer, one of the things that you'll probably notice if you open the plan up is it doesn't show anything because we have our set statement here overall. So when we're looking at our plan diagram, it doesn't really give us a good view of what might be happening. But one of the things we can do is we can go add a column into our statements grid. And if we scroll down, we'll have missing index impact. So if we drag that over, close our column chooser, and start scrolling down, we can see, up oh, there's missing indexes here. One of the things that Plan Explorer does is it highlights that the missing index exists by putting a exclamation or bang on the actual statement operator. So here we'll see we have a warning, and if we do missing index details, it will give us our missing index information in a very similar fashion to what Management Studio gave us for being able to simplify creating that missing index potentially. Now, if we go back into Management Studio, an alternative here is this is gonna create a dynamic search stored procedure that I wrote simply to demonstrate what happens if we have multiple missing index details. So if we turn on our actual execution plan and run this procedure, and then we go look at our execution plan information. This is something that I find really interesting about how Management Studio actually does this. In fact, I find it incredibly funny. Looking at the actual execution plan, we can see that this statement has a missing index that's being recommended. And this statement has a missing index that's being recommended. And what I'll do is I'll do missing index details on both of them. That way we can compare. So you'll see one is on sales order header for the account number, and the other is on account number and order date. So two completely different indexes that are being recommended here. Now, if we save this, so let's do save execution plan as, missing indexes SQL plan. And then we go back in and we just do open file and grab our missing indexes. What happens here? Well, all of a sudden Management Studio forgets how to actually interpret the actual execution plan. This is the identical plan. We just saved this execution plan, but now you'll see that the first missing index on account number is repeated across both of the statements. Even though over here, it properly shows the separate missing indexes and allocates them to where they're actually supposed to be within the plan. So if we were to take this execution plan and view it in SQL Century Plan Explorer really quickly, we'll notice if we go to our column chooser, we add our missing index detail for impact back in. We have our two missing index impacts, and if we look at our plan diagram, we'll see that we have our warning 
on our statement for both of our selects. So here, missing index is found. If we do right click, we can view our missing index details. And this makes it a lot easier and it gives us a lot better information when we're opening up execution plans that have been saved because it doesn't repeat that information across all of the statements in the plan.